Hello everyone and welcome to Hot Numbers. Hello teacher Pendo. Today we are going to learn about volume. Now can anyone tell me what this is? Oh, oh, oh teacher Pendo. Yes Marara. A, a box. Uh, is it a present? Can I open it? Please, please, please. <laughs> Not quite Marara. Someone give us a try. Yes, a Cheng? It is a cube. Exactly. Cube. Okay, now using mathematical terms, what would we say a cube is? Now, what shapes are this we have here? Yes, Irene? Square, rectangle, and a triangle. Very good. Now, we call these shapes 2D shapes because they are flat. They have two dimensions, that is the height and the width. Okay, now what do you think we would call this cube? Oh, oh, oh teacher Pendo. Yes, Mara. I remember mm -hmm. 3D shapes because mm -hmm. they have three dimensions. That is right. Now a cube is a 3D shape. It has the height, the length, and the width. Okay, now we are going to learn how to find its volume. Volume is a form of measurement. Now to measure the volume of this cube, we would have to multiply the length by the width by the height. Now can somebody tell me how we go about measuring this cube's volume? Yes, Chuang? We will multiply one meter by one meter by one meter. Mm -hmm. Good. Now the volume of this cube is one meter times one meter multiplied by one meter, which gives us one cubic meter. Now always remember to write the three uh, on top of the M, which represents cubic meter and shows that we are measuring volume. Now we learned how to write squared when we were doing area. Now when doing volume, we call it cubed. Now a quick question, how many centimeters are in a meter? Yes, Michael? 100 centimeters make a meter. Very good. So if we change these centimeters, it will be 100 centimeters multiplied by 100 centimeters multiplied by 100 centimeters, which gives us 1 million cubic centimeters. Therefore, one cubic meter equals to one million cubic centimeters. Uh, uh, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara? So one cubic meter is exactly the same as one million cubic centimeters. Yes, Marara. Now, if we have a cube measuring three meters, what is the volume in cubic meters? Yes, a chain? Three by three. 3 meters by 3 meters times 3 meters. Aha, uh -huh, very good, which gives us? Uh, um, that is 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Oh, yeah, 27 cubic meters. Very good, Marara, but remember to put up your hand next time. Now, what about in cubic centimeters? What is the answer in cubic centimeters? Irene, do you want to give it a try? First, we convert three meters into centimeters by multiplying by 100. Then you'll get 300. You'll multiply 300 times 300 times 300. Then you'll get the answer as 27 million cubic centimeters. Very good. Now, how else can we convert it into cubic centimeters? Yes, Chong? We will multiply 27 cubic meter by a, a, a million. So the answer we get is 27 million cubic centimeter. Well done, all of you. You're catching on very, very quickly. Now let's see if you will get this next bit just as fast. Now sometimes we have cubes that are not equal in size and these are called cuboids. Now what is its equivalent as a 2D shape? Yes, Michael? A rectangle. Aha, that's correct. Now, to measure the volume of a cuboid, we use the same formula as we used for the cube. We will multiply the length by the width by the height. Now, if our cuboid measures 4 meters by 2 meters by 5 meters, what is the volume of our cuboid? 
Yes, Michael. 40 cubic meters. Uh -huh, very good. Now, what about in cubic centimeters? Uh, uh, teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. I think we multiply that by one million. Uh -huh, yes. Or we change the meters to centimeters and get 400 centimeters multiplied by 200 centimeters multiplied by 500 centimeters, which gives us... 40 million cubic centimeters. Well done, everyone. Now, as a special assignment for you at home, look for a cuboid or a cube-shaped object. It could be a tin from the kitchen or a toothpaste box, anything. Measure it with a ruler and write down the length, width, and height and find the volume. Well, thank you very much for joining us and remember to join us next time for more Hot Numbers.